can't chat to me again. Uh, hello. I just love this. Not too shabby for my first time, if I do say so myself, okay? Hey YouTube fam, welcome back to my channel. It's Alyssa Marie here, just in case you're new. Today we're getting into something that I have never done before. I haven't done like fun hairstyles in a while. So I figured why not get into something a little bit fun today. So today I'm gonna be trying Bantu knots for the first time ever. I kinda wanna switch it up just a little bit, put my little flavor on it and make it a little fun and creative. So I'm excited. I'm kinda gonna be learning as I go along so y'all will be able to see the entire process as well as the finished result at the end. Before we do jump in to all of this fun stuff, please do make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. Just go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also make sure you hit the notification bell as well if you never wanna miss a new upload again. All right, let's go ahead and get started. <sighs> okay, so this hair is very much a situation. I brushed it out yesterday, and then it's kind of just been in this bun overnight. I'm a little bit nervous, but <laughs> let's go ahead and take it out because I brushed it out. I mean, I know it's not still gonna be cleared out. I know it has knotted back up, and I like that's what makes me scared. Oh my god! <laughs> Look at this! Look at this! But yeah, for this hairstyle, it is really, really important to start out with hair that is fully cleared out. It might even be better to blow your hair out. Y'all know I like to kind of stay away from that kind of heat though. So I'm gonna clear it out in my own way, minus the heat. So I'm just gonna start by using my DIY spray. This is my usual mixture of conditioner and water. Y'all always ask me what conditioner is in here. Nine times out of 10, it is my Maui Moisture Awa Puhi Conditioner. I'll tag that below so you guys can check that out. It's so good and it smells delicious. So it's like really great to refresh your hair with. So just a little spritz here and there. Oh, so you guys wanna know something cool? I am from the Caribbean, I'm Caymanian and Jamaican. And over there we call Bantu knots shiny bumps. And ever since I was a little girl, I loved getting shiny bumps. I used to go to my mom and beg her like, please mom, can you give me some shiny bumps? I want some shiny bumps. <laughs> I used to love this style and I literally haven't worn it since I was just a little girl. So I'm kind of really excited to get on into this. All right, so let's keep going and adding some more moisture. I'm grabbing my Maui Moisture Heal and Hydrate Shea Butter Combing Cream. This is so, so good, it is so delicious and so hydrating. I love it. I need as much moisture as I can get because my hair, this is like old hair I'm working on and it's a little dry, so I'm gonna kinda try and focus this on my ends. Those are always the driest part. All right, so before we actually get into clearing this out, I think I'm gonna just try and clear this out in two halves first. I don't think I can take on the whole head of hair because then that might just be a real hot mess express. Gosh, I have so much hair. <laughs> it's crazy to think, my hair has just grown so much. Y'all know I normally finger detangle, but that's only in the shower when we got the slip and the conditioner and all that good stuff. We don't have that today, so I'm gonna need a brush. I need to put y'all onto this real quick though, okay? I know when you look at it first, it's kind of like, what the hell is that? Like, how is that gonna work for me? Let me, let me actually give you a close up though. These are all hard, so they don't move, they're not flexible at all, but I love the fact that they are so like wide apart. Oh, there's a sticker on there. <laughs> but I used this once and I was shook. I was just really kind of curious because I've never seen a brush that looks just like this. They all kind of all look similar to the Denman brush, you know, but this was like really intriguing to me and I'm so glad that I did give it a chance because she is nice. Easiest way to detangle is to start by Detangling your ends first, and then you just work your way up. Look at that. I love this thing. I really do, I really do. And it is pulling out minimum hair, okay? It's so good, it is so good. I actually 10 out of 10 recommend. If you're somebody who prefers to detangle your hair with an actual tool, I recommend this over all of the other ones. This is so good. I just think because there's so much more space in between the bristles, it's really, really good for big, thick, curly hair. Oh, so the reason why detangling is so important for this hairstyle is because we gotta part our hair in all kinds of different little sections. And parting your hair is already difficult when you're doing it yourself. If your hair is in knots, it's gonna be like a thousand times more difficult. 
So really this is just gonna make our parts more easy to do and be a little bit more neat and straight and cute. Whew, okay, first section is detangled. I'm gonna go ahead and add some mousse to this just because, I don't know, I wanna keep it nice and like wet so that it doesn't try and shrink up too much. I feel like the mousse is gonna help me keep it nice and detangled. And then just a little bit of additional combing cream on the ends here. All right, boom, I'm actually gonna put this in a clip so she can stay put. Wow, I literally feel like I just did an arm workout at the gym. <laughs> All right, so now that my hair is fully 100% detangled, to start, I think I'm gonna go ahead and part it kind of like halfway so that I can start by parting my little parts in the front. I kind of want some triangle vibes going on. I saw some inspiration pictures. I'll include them here so you guys can get a little bit of an idea of what I'm kind of going for. So yeah, let's go ahead and start by parting the hair in half. My gosh, I've always been terrible at parting my hair. But today we're gonna be great, okay? I'm manifesting it. <laughs> this drugs. All right, so we are just rocking with this top half first. Like I said, I want to get into some triangles. So I'm gonna go ahead and start trying to part in my triangles. I really think that this is gonna be the hardest part. Like just getting these parts the way I want them is gonna be the key. Woo, we got a nice sexy part right here. Okay, first section complete. This is gonna be one big old shiny bump. So I actually am kind of going for slightly larger shiny bumps because I'm not adding hair to this. I'm just using this with my natural hair. So I still want my bumps to kind of look a little bit big. I didn't want them to look too teeny, so I'd rather do less bumps that are bigger in size. Feel me? So I'm gonna go ahead and wet this section. So going back in and detangling the section one more time. I kind of want to leave like a little bit of hair. So I'm just gonna brush these forward so we can do something with them later. So to secure this section, I'm gonna go in with lots of my Camille Rose Curl Maker. I'm literally gonna apply this to the entire section from root to my ends. The reason why I'm loving this gel is because it just offers so much shine and also very intense hold. We need this to look slick, honey. So this is gonna get us all the way together. Then I'm just grabbing a smoothing brush to smooth that product in and then using a hair tie to secure the base of this section. All right, so our section is nice and secure. It's coming along, looking nice and slick, we're looking cute. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of additional curl maker to my hair, and then we're gonna twirl it and create our little first tiny bump. How stinking cute is this? And do you see what I mean? I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you guys can get a little close up of the shine from this curl maker. Yes, this is so cute. So yeah, I'm basically just gonna go in and repeat those same exact steps for all of my other tiny bumps. Or Bantu knots, same kind of thing. I'm gonna use those terms interchangeably. Oh my gosh, my arms are killing me, but guys, we look cute! Okay, let me go ahead and fix these little curly whirlies. So for this part, I'm just adding some curl maker and like twirling the top of it really tightly so that the root kind of doesn't get frizzed out. And then, boom, letting the rest of it just curl naturally. Yes, this is cute! Okay, so the last thing that we need to do is kind of do a little edge action, some swoopies. We need a little bit of swoopies for this look. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start by 
dampening my edges just a teensy bit. So for edge control, I'm using Saweetie's Edge Control. This is by Kiss Products, I believe. Yes, and it's called the Edge Fixer. Glued and it has maximum hold because we are getting so licked today. Boom, and we got our little swoopies. Oh my gosh, I am actually living for this look. Oh my gosh, talk about a switch up. Wow, this is dope. This is dope. Yeah. All right guys, so this is the final, final look. Let me tell you, I am living for this vibe. Talk about a switch up. I actually really, really love this. Not too bad for my first time, if I do say so myself. So go ahead and comment below and let me know what you know them as. Do you know them as Bantu Knots? Do you know them as Chinese Bombs? Do you know them as something completely different that I've never heard of? Like, comment below. I'm trying to see something. But yeah, guys, that's basically it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this because I sure did and I'm living it for this look. If you are gonna go ahead and recreate this hairstyle exactly kind of like how I did it, go ahead and tag me. I love to see you guys recreate my little hairstyles. Until next time, guys. Bye.